In this video, I will be covering the network proximity checker. The network proximity checker is used to show and hide objects in your scene when they are a certain distance from other objects or the player. It will also prevent from sending network messages to objects which are outside that range. This video is a freebie, so you will not need to be one of my supporters to see the full video. However, I will also be showing my fast proximity checker, which is the same thing as the network proximity checker, but it has considerably better performance and provides quicker updates as well. But let's start with the network proximity checker, which is the one that comes with Mirror. I have added the network proximity checker to this cube, which I will spawn several copies of, and I have also added it to my player. You have viz range, which is how far objects can be from this particular object before they are no longer shown visually, as well no longer receive updates. For example, if an object was 20 meters from my player, it would be hidden and I would not receive network updates from it. Next you have the update interval. This is how often the script will check for updates. Right now it is set for one second. That means it will check for vicinity objects every second. Next you have force hidden. While checked, this object will unconditionally be hidden from the player. However, if you are the owning player, you will still see this object. Let's get started by showing you the default network proximity checker that comes with Mirror. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and some objects will populate. I have my player which is the green cube which moves around. You can see as objects leave range that they disappear from the player and that they reappear when the player is in range. One thing I do want to point out though is you can see that there is a delay as this is updating only every second. I'm going to restart the simulation and one thing I want to point out is the frame rate. Notice the stats window over here in the bottom right. This is running at approximately 240 frames per second. Keep that in mind for when I show you the fast proximity checker. I changed out the cubes to my fast proximity cube on my cube spawner and now I'm going to start the simulation again. One thing I want you to notice right away is that the updates are much, much quicker. This is more of a real-time feel to getting updates on your proximity objects. And in addition, if you take a look at the stats window, the frame rate is hanging right around 575, which is a considerable improvement from before. It's nearly two and a half to three times faster. If you want to get the fast proximity checker, you can join any tier on my Patreon. Doing so will unlock all of my mirror videos as well provide source code downloads to them. You can find a link in the description of this video to become a supporter today.